Oh. We lost it. Oh, it's uh, almost. Oh, no. Almost lost it. <laughs> Good morning. It is November 4th to Saturday. Today's the first day we can go get tags for the Christmas tree at the Christmas tree farm. So like we always do, we're gonna go get some. A little hectic today though, because we weren't able to get up as early as we normally do. Sterling's got dance today. Jordan's teaching at the dance studio. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab some tags, pick out some trees, and then in a month or so, on Black Friday, that's usually when we go and we pick them up. Uh, we pick the trees up and we trim the trees, we set up the house, we decorate it, family comes over to have like a little tree trimming day. So uh, on the way there, uh, hopefully there's a lot of good trees left because I know it's first come first serve and if the tags are gone, then they're gone. What are you going to do? You usually can find a couple good ones. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we, we know our style. We like the Norway spruce and then the back room of blue spruce if we get two trees. So it is 941. Here's hoping we get some good ones. So this is the, I think the best area over here. And as soon as you go in uh, on the left-hand side as you're driving up, we're looking for Norway spruce. Soft, short needles, very picturesque Christmas tree shapes. Man, some of these are really tall and skimpy. I'm looking for a somewhat full one with a good shape, not too thin, not, not too tall obviously, because we want to go crazy here. So here we go, let's see. Hopefully not too many are taken already, but it looks like they're just starting to put tags out right now. All right, this area is a little, it's a little skimpy. Not too great over here. Let's see if we can find something else. Sometimes you can get lucky around the perimeter over here um, towards like the back. I think this, there's more Norway spruce over here as well. But it's, it's, again, this is skimpy this year. I don't know if it was because it was a dry, dry summer or something like that. We didn't get a lot of rain, but we'll see. We'll see what we can find. Some tall ones over here, man. Yeah, they're like thin and tall. This one's a good one, it's just massive. Because it's way big. I love it, but it's huge. It's already taken already. Ding dang. We got a tag 114 for one all the way over there. This one is a little blue spruce and I like it. I like the shape, it's very full. I also like this one over here. That one's already taken. This one, I don't even know if it's tagged. But this is like the size of the back room tree that would be ideal. This is like a perfect blue spruce size. I just need somebody to snag, to tag this one so I can get a tag for that. Cause it's a perfect, it's a perfect tree to have in the back room, bottom line. Short, stout, enough room for the, like the Disney ornaments, if you will. I think we could probably do it this year. I think we found a good one over here, 3857. It's a nice wide Norway spruce. It's tall, but it's not too tall given that branch is up real high. It's got some space so you can see all the the ornaments and everything. I think it's a good one. I think it would fit nicely in either our living room or, or Nancy's. All right, so we got three trees now. We got the 114 right over here. And by the way, this is Conover Tree Farm in Wall. Yeah, Conover Tree Farm in Wall. Small family owned farm. So we've been getting our trees for 10 plus years now at this point in time. We have all the tree little rounds that I cut off the bottom of the stump. They're up above our windows in our dining room and they have the year and maybe a little something about that, that year. So here is our, where is it? 
here's our blue spruce over here that I just tagged. Blue spruce for the back room. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. Beautiful. 3316. And although I didn't think we were gonna find any good ones in this little Norway spruce section, I was able to find one that was really good. I think it was covered in some pine needles from the bigger, bigger pine trees that kind of line the front of the farm, but I think that turned people off when they saw it. So I snagged it, grabbed it, and I think that might be the winner for our, our living room. And obviously, you know, got one so that maybe Nancy and Jerry could pick as well, see if they want to take the one that we don't want, vice versa. But let me, let me find this one, where'd it go? I think it's right over here, actually. No, that's not it. Is this it over here? 3857N. I think this is it. Let me check the tag. Yep, 3857N. Norway spruce. Medium width, medium thickness, uh, height. Uh, not too high. So I think it's going to be a good one. I'm pumped. All right, I think we got some good ones. We got two Norway spruce, one for us, one for Nancy and Jerry. Got a blue spruce for the back room. They're not all the best we've ever had, but I think given the circumstances, getting here a little bit later and not having a very wet summer, a very dry summer, um, I think we did all right. I think we'll be okay. Plus, hey, there's a couple more weeks to grow <laughs> until Black Friday, so we'll pick it up then. So to be continued, see you in about three weeks. Good afternoon. It is 12-12 on Black Friday. We are headed to the tree farm to go pick up our tree. It's been maybe three weeks, a month or so. It's been a couple weeks, and so hopefully, hopefully the tree is looking better than before. Hopefully all those pine needles that were had fallen onto it fall off. Um, or maybe we'll have the guy shake it if that's the one we pick up. But you'll see when we get there. Um, i got to get money, cash money for the trees. Then we're going to go to the tree farm, get the farm, maybe ride in the tractor. Maybe go to Rook. Maybe go to Rook and get some coffee, even though Daddy's feeling uh, a little lightheaded from just eating, you know, greasy breakfast. Go to the tree farm and get the tree. We'll see you there. We made it to the tree farm. It is, what time is it? 12.51, we stopped for Rook, so we got some coffee. As I'm tripping on stumps. Um, Sterling, come on. Let's go find our let's go tree. Get a tree. Let's go get a tree. No. We got our, we're gonna get um, two trees today. It's gonna be a Norway spruce and a blue spruce. The Norway spruce is the, one of the three Norway spruce options are over here. Um, I just have to find the tag. I think it's, it's gonna be a purple and white tag over here somewhere. I think it's over in this general vicinity, but let's go find it. Come on, babe, let's go get our tree. Well, let's look at this one first. Tree number one, Norway spruce. This is the ideal, this, this is the ideal angle, right there. Option one. So you get a couple different options, get a couple different tags so you can pick and choose, and that way, whatever ones we don't want, now Nancy's got an option. Now maybe my mom and dad will have an option, so. Tree farms, so baby. It's, a, it's the season of giving, is what it is. Season of giving. And there it is. 33, 16. Oh yeah, look at this. A little blue spruce. Oh yeah, to put your awesome ornaments on, like your dinosaur ornament. You hear the quad? Blue spruce. Tree for the back room. Still needs a lot of sorts right now. Look at this angle right here. Look at how perfect that is. Oh yeah, what a good looking tree. So now we gotta hike it all the way that way towards the front because that's where the other two tree options are for the Norway that's spruce. It is a quad. Yeah, it's a little tractor on the back. If I go in it? Maybe if they let you. Maybe if you ask real nicely. If you're well behaved and calm, our first uh, tree? 2012? 2012? Yeah, I think so. So over, oh, coming up the 
what was it? 11 years of trees? Math is hard. Math is hard. 11 years of trees. Yeah. Kind of a tree farm. All worth it. Sustainable, local, locally sourced, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The best. This cluster up here, I think, is where, where we're looking. Let's check the tags. We're looking for 3961N and 3857N. 39, they go higher this way. 3961, let's look. 3947, keep on going. It's over here somewhere. I didn't think it was this far back. Do not cut. Here we go. 3961. What do you think? Not, I don't think it's as good as the other one. I don't have um, an emotional reaction to this one. I think, you know what? I think this looks like a tree my mom would get. I guarantee that's a good idea as well. In a good way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and like these pine needles, I think is what made it not as, not as appealing because it's yeah, covered in these, but just... easy to shake off. Yeah. But, okay, maybe for your mom? Yeah. 3857. 3857, maybe my mom and dad will want one. 3853. Further back. 3857. Should be 3858. 3857, CJC before cutting. This was the other one. It says CJC before cutting. Why? Is there a problem? Yeah, it's not that big. But yeah, I mean, it, this is the this is the last one we got. So maybe this one's not a good one. What, 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 you think it's too big? I think it's too big. Okay. It, it, I think in, in our house, it'll look huge. Okay. I think out here, it doesn't look huge. Sure. Okay. Oh, I think it's a, a nice, it's a really nice tree. I just think it, it'll it end up being like way bigger than we think. Okay. All right, so I think the winners that we're gonna have are obviously 3316 for the spruce, 3316 and 114. And your mom, we think we're gonna, you think she'll like we'll the- the, I think we should keep the other two. Yeah, the other two, but yeah. Not the 3857 we think might be too big. Okay, Sterling, let's go. We're gonna go on a ride, get that out of your mouth. We're gonna go for, we're gonna see if they'll give us a ride in the tractor, come on. Let's go. This way. Follow mommy. The temperature is pretty nice today. It's not... It's not as cold as I'd like it to be. It's not as nice as it was one day when we went and selected tags where there was frost on the ground. I've got some really cool pictures of that. But everything was just covered in a layer of frost. It was beautiful. It's not definitely not as hot as it's been either. So I'll take it. Being careful, you don't want to uh, trip on the stumps. So we won't be, well, we don't want to. You want to walk back? You don't want to ride in the way of Brava? He's all done. No. You're all done? Truck. All done. Wow, yay! Ready? It's so fun. Yeah, that what was do you fun. say, buddy? Yeah. You're welcome. All right, let's go. Is it, 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 is it
Not fast anymore. No. Stop. All done. <laughs> success! Success! We got two trees. We rode so we in got the tree. got a tree. What'd you get, buddy? A tree. Yeah, what is it? Do you know what kind of tree that is? A candy cane. Mm, wow. Candy cane. Delicious. And uh, we, yeah, we got our two trees and we rode in the tractor. Was it great? Mm -hmm. Was it too fast? No, I liked it. You yeah, liked it. it okay. Fun. It was fun. So we'll do it again next year. Yeah. Alright, let's go bring the trees home. Yay! Yay! All right, mission accomplished. Got the tree. Trees. Trees. Multiple trees. Got. Uh, we stopped at Rook, but didn't talk about that. Uh, gingerbread style. Gingerbread style. Mm -hmm. There are more trees at home. We're gonna have a party when we go home. Because. Uh, Nan and Pop are gonna come over. We're gonna have a Black Friday tree trimming, house decorating, food eating extravaganza. For leftovers. For fun! Because that's what the holidays are all about, kid. No! Okay, Nap okay. Time. Nap time! Well, if you couldn't tell, we are home. We have the trees netted in the truck. Basically ready now to fill up a couple of buckets with water and then just put the trees in the water and let them sit and soak and soak up all that good water till it's time to actually put the tree up and then we'll bring it inside, put the lights on, so on and so forth. I think that's gonna do it. Uh, thanks for coming along for the ride or uh, our tree gathering experience or tree picking and tagging and all that fun stuff. It's getting chilly out. It's getting to be the, the holiday season. So happy holidays and I don't know. I don't know if we'll do a Christmas vlog this year, but we'll see you later. Until next time, see ya.